Today we're creating this Kumihimo flower bracelet. You're going to need some cardboard, a small circular object to trace, a pencil, and some scissors. If you're using a box, go ahead and cut that apart so you just have one piece, and then trace the object onto the cardboard. You'll be left with this. Next, make a mark in the top center, right side, bottom, and left side. You can use a ruler to do this. Then in between these marks, you're going to put seven more marks. And try to space these fairly evenly, but it's okay if they're not perfect. It will still work anyway. Then once you're done with that, mark an N at the top to mark north. This will be at the top when you start the bracelet. Next, write a 1 directly under that and a 1 on the notch next to it. Then count over 3 and write a 2 and then write a 1 next to it. Count over 3, write a 2 and then a 1 next to it. Count over 3, write a 1 and a 1. Count over 3, write a 1 and a 1. Count over three, write a one and a two. Count over three, write a two and a three. Count over three, write a two and a two. So it should look like this. And I turned the light off because I thought maybe you could see it better, like this. So once you've done that, I'm gonna just trace a nail polish container to make a circle in the center. You can just draw a circle if you want, it doesn't have to be precise. Then once you've done that, go ahead and cut a notch on each of those marks all the way around the circle. Then once you've done that, we can go ahead and start the bracelet. Cut nine 20 inch long pieces of embroidery floss. This will be your color number one. Next, cut six 20 inch long pieces of embroidery floss. This will be color number two. And for color number three, just cut one 20 inch long piece. Then group all those together and we're gonna tie a knot close to the end, but make sure all of the pieces are in the knot. So go ahead and tie that as close as you can to the end. And tighten it up. Next, we're gonna tie another knot just below that so there's a small gap in between to create a loop. This will be the clasp for your bracelet. So go ahead and tighten that second knot and then make sure there's room in between the knots for the clasp. So just stick a pencil through it and make sure that there is room like that. Now we're gonna start the braiding. So just put each of the strands into the right slot. And it doesn't really matter what order you do this in. Just put the ones in the one slot, the twos in the two slot, and the three in the three slot. Once it's all threaded, we can start braiding. So turn the wheel so the end is at the very top. And in these two strands that are at the top, take the right strand, move it clockwise around the wheel, and put it in one slot to the right of the bottom pair. Then grab the left strand in this bottom pair, and move it clockwise to the top and put it one slot to the left of the top strand. Then turn the wheel so the next pair is at the top. Take the right strand, move it clockwise to the, just to the right of the bottom pair. Pick up the left strand, move it clockwise just to the left of the top strand. So you're just going to repeat the same pattern over and over for the entire bracelet. The top right goes to the bottom right, bottom left goes to the top left. And just keep turning the wheel. Every once in a while you're going to have to detangle the strings, they can get pretty tangled. And just keep doing it. 
And one thing that I want to mention is if you're going to stop doing this for a little while, make sure that you leave three at the bottom so you're halfway through the stitch. This way you'll always know when you pick it back up you just need to move that left one to the top. And you can see that the flower pattern is starting to form at this point. So just keep doing this until it's the length of your wrist. And then just take all the threads out of the cardboard and we're going to tie a knot right there at the end. And tighten it up. And then you can adjust the bracelet if you need to. And then I'm just going to go ahead and tie a whole bunch of knots here at the end to make one big knot that will work as the clasp. If you have a better way of tying a big knot, you can go ahead and do that. Then once it's all tightened up really well, I cut the extra threads off and that's it!